Hi guys, welcome to this 18th tutorial in this series of programming PIC microcontroller with flow code for PIC for absolute beginners. This is part 2 of controlling a PIC microcontroller from a PC graphical user interface. In part 1 we designed the graphical user interface and we saw how easy it is to send some command to our PIC microcontroller. When our application runs, it's going to populate the COM port with all the available COM port on your machine. In this case, we had only two. You can select the board rate. It should be the same board rate as in your PIC microcontroller code. The parity is going to be exactly the same. It's going to use none. Data bits. And you'll have to select the stop bit as well. Click connect. Then you can send some command to our PIC microcontroller. So in this part 2, we're going to continue with this graphical user interface to generate a setup file that you can install on your machine. Disconnect, exit. So this is a cable that we are supposed to use in this application. This is a male to female RS232 cable. In recent days, the RS232 port, usually referred to as COM port, is being replaced by a USB port on your PC. So don't be surprised if you don't find this type of connector on your PC, especially if you are using a laptop. In this case, a USB to RS232 converter cable can be used. Let us go back to our Visual Studio project. To create a setup project, in our solution, right click and add new project, select other project types, Visual Studio Installer. We're going to use the setup wizard. It's going to create Windows Installer project with aid of a wizard. We're going to name it setup. Click OK. Welcome to the setup project wizard. This wizard will lead you through the steps of creating a setup project. Click next. Here you're going to specify what we want to do. Do you want to create a setup project to install an application? Yes. In this case, it's going to be create a setup for Windows application, not a web application. So we're going to leave the default Windows application. Click next. Here you're going to select all the files that you need in your setup project. In this case, we're just going to need the primary output from our project. We don't need the source files. We don't have some documentation files. If you had some documentation files, localized resources. Maybe if you want to create multilingual application, you might have some localized resource files. So we're only going to select primary output from PIC GUI application. Click Next. If you had some other files like readme files or html help files, you can click on add and include them in your project. In this case we have none so we're gonna click next and finish. Okay, before we continue with our setup project, there are some few things that we're gonna do in our main project. Right click, properties, we're gonna need to set an icon. That is going to be displayed on the taskbar on our application. Click here. We're going to use this icon. Okay, so this is the icon that is going to be displayed on the taskbar when our application is running. Let's go back to our setup project. Double click application folder. This is the primary output from the PIC GUI application. Select the setup. We're going to add some few parameters, the author, in this case we're just going to write student companion, description, controlling a PIC microcontroller from a PC graphical user interface, the manufacturer is going to be the name of the company, it's going to be student companion, the manufacturer URL, you can write the website containing information about the manufacturer of this application, www.studentcompanion.net. Product name, we're just going to call it PIC Microcontroller PC Graphical User Interface. 
remove previous versions if you want to specify whether an installer will remove previous versions of an application during installation okay i'm just gonna set it to true the support url specify a url for a website containing support information of an application or component okay we're gonna set it also to student companion website here you can specify the target platform whether it's gonna be 32 bit or 64 bit we're gonna leave it to 32 bit the title we're gonna set it also the same as the product name which is gonna be pick microcontroller pc graphical user interface and here you can specify the version number of the installer in this case we're just gonna leave it to 1.0.0 we're gonna add an icon on our desktop once we install our application it's gonna create a shortcut of our application on the desktop and in user program menu so double click the user desktop in this section right click create new shortcut application folder and the shortcut we're gonna create of our primary output click ok you can give it a meaningful name pick microcontroller pc graphical user interface and we're gonna need an icon for our shortcut under icon properties browse add file Select an icon, gonna use the same icon monitor, open, okay. And lastly, we're gonna create also another shortcut in user program menu. Right click, create a new shortcut. It's gonna be also the shortcut of our primary output project. We're gonna give it also a meaningful name. Pick microcontroller PC GUI. We're gonna also add an icon that will be display in user program menu icon we're gonna use the same icon okay and lastly we're gonna also add a last icon in add remove program to uninstall this project it's always good to have an icon we're gonna use the same icon okay if you want to specify some more parameters like the license key or change the flow of the installation of the program you can click on view user interface you can change the order of the flow of the installation you can move this dialog box wherever you want to put them or you can even add your own dialog box if you want to add the check box to ask the user whether the desktop shortcut should be displayed or not or some other parameters right click the start and add dialog you can choose from these predefined dialogs we've got radio boxes text box license agreement read me register user splash and so on you're gonna have the check boxes a click ok let us drag our checkbox so that it appears between the welcome and the installation these checkboxes let you to display up to four checkbox selections with custom captions but in this case we're just gonna need one checkbox in the banner text this is the text to display in the banner area of this dialog we're just gonna write installation option in the body text this is the text to display in the body area of this dialog. We're just going to write, select the option you wish to use for this installation. The checkbox one label, this is the label for the first checkbox. We're going to write, add an icon for the peak microcontroller PC GUI. And the checkbox one property, this is a property name associated with the first checkbox that we are using. So we're just going to write pick GUI link. And the checked one value, this is to determine whether the first checkbox is initially checked or unchecked. In this case, we're going to check it by default. And the checkbox one visible is true. We've got other three checkboxes. 
the second checkbox we're gonna hide it the third checkbox we're gonna hide it and the last checkbox we're gonna hide it as well because we only want to display one checkbox so this is basically how you can add an extra checkbox during your installation process okay click on view editor let's return to the file system click on the user desktop under the properties you've got some few properties we've got the condition property this specify a windows installer condition that must be satisfied to evaluate to true in order for the selected item to be installed at installation time so in this property we're gonna set it to the name of that checkbox property which we said was pick gui link the last thing that we're gonna do right click setup properties we're gonna set the configuration to release it's no longer in debug mode so that's all guys these are all the steps that we need to generate an exe file right click the setup project and click build if there are no errors everything will build successfully it's a build to succeed zero failed so everything built successfully there were no errors generated let us open our setup project release folder open release these are our setup files you can use these files to install this application inside your pc double click setup it says welcome to pick microcontroller pc graphical user interface setup click next you can see our checkbox add icon for the pick microcontroller pc gui is checked by default if i untick it no shortcut will be added to our desktop i'm gonna tick it click next you can select whether the installation will be installed for just you or everyone you can specify the installation folder i'm gonna leave all the default click next and next click yes okay installation complete click close okay you can see a desktop shortcut was added during installation in the user program menu I've, I've got also a shortcut to my project so i'm gonna click pick microcontroller to start my application and let us open our simulation select the com port board rate parity data bit stop bit connect send control okay left to run my simulation first now i can send some control and everything is working perfectly disconnect exit thank you guys for watching this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to this youtube channel to receive more tutorials and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you